Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Jennifer Bowman with Olympia Piano and in this short video I'm going to go over formula pattern scales in the key of F sharp or G flat major. Now this is an enharmonic key so you can spell it two different ways. We can either spell this note as F sharp or spell it as G flat it will sound the same and the fingering will be the same. It will just look different on the music staff. So for the purposes of this video, I'm going to refer to this key as F sharp. So the first thing we're going to do is go over the notes in the F sharp major scale. So Do, F sharp, Re, G sharp, Mi, A sharp, Fa, B, So, C sharp, La, D sharp, T is E sharp, and Do is F sharp. Fingering for this scale is not standard. It's a black key scale. So we're going to use fingers two, three, and four on these three black keys, and then two and three on these two black keys. One thing I find helpful is to identify where the white keys are in these black key scales. And the white keys in this scale actually are surrounding the group of three black keys. So I kind of like to think of this as a little island over here. So we have this island and then the white key surrounding the group. The left hand fingering is just the reverse of that. So we have four, three, two on the group of three black keys, then one, then three, two, and one. So one thing you wanna consider when you are doing a black key scale is don't let your fingers get flat on the black keys. Find the grip point that you might have heard me talk about. Stand up on the edges. Try to stay within the last inch or so of the black keys. So there's a couple of things to consider when you're doing these formula pattern scales. The first is, are the hands moving in a parallel fashion? That means the same syllables or the same notes at the same time going up the scale. That would be parallel. This would be parallel going down. So same notes at the same time. Or are they going in contrary motion, which would mean one hand is going up the scale the other is going down the scale. Especially with these black key scales, these can be a little confusing, so just go nice and slowly at first when doing the contrary motion. And then of course you're going to want to organize your fingering when playing these. So take a look above and you'll see the formula pattern scales diagram. Formula patterns are just organized into segments. So for a two octave formula pattern scale, our first segment it's going to be a parallel segment, so we're going to go up. And then we'll have a contrary motion segment, so it will be out and in. Then another parallel, both hands up, both hands down. Another contrary, out and in. And then finally, ending with a down. So what we're going to do now is we're going to lock in that pattern, the formula pattern, using a technique of short and long rhythms so you can feel what's coming next. So we'll start with four on do, two on do. Here we go. Going up, right hand thumb comes under. Cross with three, left hand. Right hand crosses under with a thumb. Left hand is gonna switch direction, right hand's gonna keep going. So left hand's only gonna cross with two at this point. Now we have contrary, hands playing in the different direction. Right hand under with a thumb, left hand under three, right hand under three. Now switching directions, right hand crosses with three, left hand crosses with three, right hand crosses with four. Now left hand's going to cross with four and right hand's going to change direction. Now going up, parallel. Right hand under with one, left hand over with three. Right hand under three, left hand over with two. We're gonna be at the top. Turning around, parallel, cross with three. Under three with the left hand. Right hand crosses with four. And then now, left hand's gonna continue on down. Right hand's gonna change direction, contrary. Right hand under four, left hand under three. Right hand under three. And right hand changes direction. Cross with three, right hand. Cross with three, left hand. Cross with four, right hand. And then cross with two, left hand. Change direction, parallel for the last segment. 
under three, over with four, and finish. Now let's do that all the way through, no rhythms. Here we go. Now to play a four octave formula pattern scale, all you're gonna do is change the length of the segment. So whereas for the two octave, we just went one octave each way. Now take a look up above, look at the segments again. Now our segments will be two octaves. We will start still one octave apart. So we'll move up two octaves, that's your up. And then you're out, in, up, down, out, in, and down. Here we go for the four octaves. I'm just going to do it straight through, no rhythms. Two octave segments. First segment is parallel and it's up. Thank you for watching this short video on formula pattern scales in the key of F sharp major or G flat major. Even though the video was presented in the key of F sharp, it will feel exactly the same if we call this G flat. So please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Lots of videos on piano techniques, scales, arpeggios, chord progressions, and also the piano quick tip series. So as always, thanks for watching and keep me posted of your progress in the comments below.